I know what you're thinking about. I know what you're thinking about work. I know what you're thinking about school. I know what you're thinking about all the time. everyone, Grindall here again, talking to you uh, live from the bowels of uh, Iron Forge. And uh, today we're going to be covering the new Razor Nostromo. Uh, I've had some planning time, hands-on time with it for about the last month and a half or so, um, putting it through its paces, um, trying to figure out everything I wanted to say and how to say it. So uh, hopefully this comes up makes sense. Hey, but. Uh, Got some side notes. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to put some stuff up on screen for you to watch, because watching my little character stand here is kind of boring. But you know, every now and then he does something interesting. Um, you know. Oh yeah, sexy beast. All right. Um, so the Razor Nostromo. Um, quick overview of this. So originally, the Nostromo was a line of peripherals put out by Belkin. So recently, Razor bought out the line. Um, they now own the Nostromo line and the peripheral. Um, they still politely say, you know, made with Belkin. Uh, but Razor's, Razor's calling the shots on this thing now. Uh, and they put out the Nostromo. Uh, you've seen some pictures in the, the lead-up notes. Um, basically, they took everything that was wrong with the N52TE, ironed it out, put out a brand new device, and uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um, there are a couple little caveats, and these aren't things where it doesn't work, they're just little gotchas when I was setting it up, and once I got past that, everything's fine. So my quick overview for it, if, uh, if you're using an N52TE and you're happy with it, go ahead and stay with the N52TE. Um, if you're kind of annoyed with the TE, and you'd like a better device, then the Nostromo is definitely a, worth an, a worthwhile upgrade to look into. Um, Basically everything that was that was not quite with the N52 TE, Razor ironed it out, and it's perfect on the Nostromo. So let's cover that. The number one thing that everyone complained about, the D-pad. All right, um, out of the box. There we go. Okay, out of the box. This is the uh, Razor Nostromo profile. I'll get into this more in depth. Right now, this is the default D-pad uh, settings that I'm running right now for my World of Warcraft mod or profile, and uh, we're going to take a look and see how that works. So you can see, full 8 degree movement, no modifications to the D-pad works perfect out of the box. Alright, so D-pad, perfect. Um, let's see, the number two was macros running in the background. Um, I'll show you this later when I get to the macros. The answer is, right now, you can have uh, one, and this is a known issue and that Razor is going to be addressing, but one macro running in the background while you press other buttons. Uh, and I'll show that when I actually get to the macro section of this. Um, but it does work. Before on the M52 TE, if you created a macro and said run, and it would go run until I press another button. There was no run until I press this button again. Um, and so if you pressed any other button, it would interrupt the macro. Now the funny thing is, I've been watching on the forums and a lot of people are complaining. 
um, about this new feature because it what it does is it will complete the macro so if you script three or four things in there hit the macro it will finish the macro you cannot interrupt it um, so uh, if you like string three or four abilities together in a macro you know like you shouldn't um, the macro editor will try and finish that entire string and so you may be dead and sitting there um, stunned something else and all those macros will keep whatever timing sequence you put in there it'll keep trying to fire until it finishes the macro sequence um, so uh, plus minus it does work uh, like for Sinister Strike great macro you can have it just sitting there and firing in the background because all it's doing is pressing one button but if you try and script a bunch of buttons it will sit there and try and run through all of them until it's done so don't recommend that play a game you're paying for it you play it anyway my soapbox done all right um, the upper and lower thumb buttons now this is kind of a minor complaint some people had um, they work they're slick they behave uh, the lower thumb button sometimes came loose on the N52 TE you had to reseat it perfect out of the box on the Nostromo upper thumb button really nice movement on it love it everything else about it slick so that's my overview um, let's get into the actual uh, editor here all right new editor you can see it's a bit larger uh, different got a more of a razor green look go, going to it um, the N52 had the wings that came off the top bottom and sides or sorry sides and bottom um, this one is all tab based uh, so you can see we've got your assigned buttons pretty much the same as the old editor uh, manage profiles you can see kind of similar um, but the same concept to create your profile and then assign it to a program you can have it auto switch if you want currently I'm in World of Warcraft I do have ones for Starcraft 2 and Lego Universe and yes those are up on my media fire uh, which I will put a link to in my post notes right here um, manage macros I was working on one right here for Sinister Strike which I will show you in a minute and lighting which I'm actually going to cover uh, unfortunately I haven't quite mastered the whole picture-in-picture -picture video thing um, but this would be the part where you would see ooh the lighting on my N52 got or my Nostromo got brighter <gasps> ooh the lighting on my Nostromo got light and darker um, and it's pretty much just controls the background lighting behind the keys um, and then you just hit apply to make it happen that's it you can't control the color just the brightness which is like it'd be nice if it controlled the brightness of the mode selector because that was the problem but oh so there's another thing the LED on the mode selector I don't know if it's I'm just used to it but uh, it seems like it's a lot less um, annoying than the one on the N52 TE so um, I'm happy with that too but let's move on so that's you lighting okay so we'll go to manage profiles and start there um, you cannot import your profiles from your N52 TE you will have to start with new profiles unless of course you go to my media fire and pull down these profiles that I have shown here I have shared uh, up on there and the link will be on the screen here somewhere um, <coughs> I do have World of Warcraft I do have Starcraft 2 um, and that's the Starcraft 2 slightly modified from uh, my other my StarCraft 2 video um, and Lego Universe uh, you know if you play that I like it it's a fun little game anyway uh, right so basically the same thing uh, create a new one import it if you bring down like you know say mine you can import that but you can't import your F52 TE uh, export which is how I put it up there um, delete it uh, same thing in here you come in here uh, this is all now right menu con um, right click menu con uh, contacts come up so uh, no extra buttons you just right click to bring it up so like set active rename all your good things in here if you want to assign an application to it hello wake up there we go and then you can come in here and then you can tell it to set it to auto switch between games Starcraft 2 World of Warcraft etc so very useful feature all right. Um, assign buttons. You've seen my profile before. Nothing new here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shift, Control, Alt, minus equals zero. Escape. 
D-pad to rest on default works beautifully. Um, up for health, health. Yeah, name plates and health bars. Down for tab for targeting. Um, now, hmm. no, I'll show that in a minute. But uh, okay, so while we're in here, you'll notice this is key map one. And yes, there are in fact eight key maps now. Well, how can you do that with only three lights? Ah, color combinations. Blue, green, green, blue, blue, green, red, blue, red, green, blue, red, and none. So yeah, you actually have all eight colors in here. And you can use the usual, like, you know, press a button to go to a specific one. And unlike the N52TE, I can put, for instance, just for funds to show this off, I can say, hey, go to on cycle up go to red then come here in red notice it didn't rewrite it like on the N52 would I can say okay so in red go to green and on down we'll get to that in a minute sorry on down go back to blue and now I can use my scroll wheel, at least within these three, to scroll up and down through maps. Slick! Very nice. So uh, that's a new feature, and I'm very happy with it. Um, let's see, where was it? Oh, right, blue map, normal stuff. Um, just leave the D-pad and D-pad default, you're fine. Um, normals, profile, everything else, I'm not gonna... But you can set your select which profile to mod or modify here. Uh, there's no like save and apply and everything else like on the N52 TE. You just apply it. Um, the the way this on the N52 TE you actually had to save the profile to your hard drive but you applied it to the N52 e TE because it had its own onboard memory. The Nostromo does not have onboard memory. It has a default key binding set that it comes with which is um, you know usual left side of the, of the keypad or the keyboard but you don't actually save your profile to the Nostromo. You save it in software. Uh, and then the software that runs uh, the, the profile editor is actually an interpreter as well. So you hit the key on the, in, on the Nostromo, sends it through the profile editor, it goes, oh, that's a macro, and then starts doing the macro, which is why the macros are more powerful on the Nostromo now, because they're actually being done in software on your computer instead of on a small chipset on the device. So, more powerful macros. Um, downside, you can't just take your device, unplug it, and walk. Uh, you do have to have the software with you. So, uh, if you're planning on taking your, your Nostromo and playing on somebody else's computer, put your software on like a thumbstick and your profiles too, and take that with you and keep it with your uh, Nostromo. Um, so, uh, and I have tested this, put it on one of my secondary computers, and um, defaults back to the you know, defaults back to just the normal settings, um, and I have to move the profile editor and software over, or my profiles over to the new machine in order for it to be able to use that or recreate them. So, small downside, but worth it for the, uh, the benefits. All right, so, yay, nothing really particularly new there. Um, macros. Okay, so I mentioned that you can have a macro, okay, one, the macro editor, um, a little bit better, timing works, uh, there was a problem with pauses before where you put a pause in and they like go all wonky on you, everything behaves correctly, one small thing that people have complained about that I've seen, you can't just edit a macro, um, for instance, if I want to come in here and I want to add something, I can add a delay, Right, and I can delete it. If I want to insert a basic command, I can do that. Um, but if I want to add anything new to this, right, um, I can edit what's in there already, but I can't add anything new to it, short of recording a new macro. So that's kind of annoying. But, you know, you can you can sort of edit what's already in there so let's see put a new delay after that okay cool and then I've already created it new do whatever 
save, okay, apply. And again, no save because everything gets applied to the onboard, the profile editor. So this is now applied to that macro. Um, so if I want to apply it, I come back here and I say, okay, instead of one, I want to have this macro that says, I'm calling it Sinister Strike. It really just spams one. Um, so I can actually use this because, you know, I could use it to one, 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 spit shift one, and it'll hold down shift, and it'll throw my eviscerate in there with for me. Um, and then these are your options for repeating. So play once, play a multiple times, and you tell it how many times. Um, play while you have the button pressed. Play until you press the button again. So we're going to do this. We're going to set it as a toggle and apply. And now this is what's applied in my system. So let's go test that out. Let's see, an appropriate dummy besides myself. Okay, and I'm gonna hit one. And I am now not pressing any buttons on my N50, on my Nostromo. And you can see my Sinister Strike firing there uh, every pretty much every time it comes up. It's on a 0.05 millisecond delay, so. Could probably be a little faster, but that's fast enough for me. That's about my own response time too. And I'm gonna hold down shift and let's see if it triggers shift one on my next. No, it does not. Hmm. Interesting. So there we learned something. Holding down shift while it's running will not automatically trigger shift one, which would be eviscerate. So I actually would have to turn that off and manually hit shift one. Okay. Oh wow. But holding shift one resets the macro. Hm. Okay, and let's let it fire again. So as far as that goes, um, you can only have one of those running at a time. And I have tested this. If you try and have two of them running at the same time, if you have two of them trying, if you have one running and you try and set a second one to run, it'll interrupt and crash both of them. Uh, you won't get like an uh, error or anything else. It just stop both of them. Um, and I have talked to um, there's a razor rep that I talked to. And he said, yes, it's a known issue. They're working on it. Um, you should be able to run several macros at the same time. I have not gotten word on how many they expect you should be able to run at the same time. Um, but it should be more than one. <laughs> so uh, that is a known issue. It is being worked on. All right. Um, so, yes, macros do work in the background, uh, which they did not on the N52TE. So improvement there. And you can see how it works now. All right, so I'm going to go back and say, no, just give me one, because I prefer pressing my own buttons. Thank you very much. And apply. Um, all right, what else were we looking at? Um, so that's managing macros. Um, and you can also obviously come in here. Let's see, you got to have a macro to be able to play with. Um, you can also use this for you know out-of-game fun things, but whatever. All right. Um, let's see. Time for a quick trip to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Well, I figure out what I'm going to talk about next. All right. Enjoy your intermission.